after an exciting but odd day on the water for day one of the finals racing at the European Championship. It's Germany battling for the middle of the pack with, uh, with Yo-Yo Polger and these guys right here, Elisa and Paul um, aboard the, uh, the mighty, what is it, 77. And uh, you guys looked really quick out there. I mean, the last race was a mess, I think, at the end but you looked really solid all the, all the way out there. Um, are you surprised about that? I mean, you guys are a pretty new team here, huh? Yeah, we're pretty new. We've sailed together for a year now, um, but we had an okay result at last year's world, so our expectations are um, higher than we're currently doing. So. Where'd you finish in France? Uh, fifth. Fifth. Um, so we'd like to do much better than we're doing right now, but um, we're a bit too heavy and not really comfortable when it's light like the last few days, so it's no real surprise that we're going pretty well when it's windier. Yeah, but, I mean, but even so, to be in this fleet right now with this much talent here and in these conditions, I, I feel like you're pretty strong. And you looked a little bit different tactically. Is there anything you're doing out there you feel that's maybe a little different from the other boats? Maybe you tell me, Elisa. No, not really. We're just uh, trying to be fast and race smart and, yeah. Have fun? Yes, of course. <laughs> um, and, and Paul, you know, you've got obviously racing against Yo-Yo Polger and he's so experienced and he's done so much in, in, in multi-hell sailing. Is it a cooperative thing? Are you guys training partners? Are you helping each other? Or is it more like uh, fighting with each other? No, no, we're training partners. Uh, of course, we're fighting with everyone on the, on the race course at the end of the day, but trying to develop ourselves in training is with them and uh, sometimes with some foreigners. But in general, it's a German training partner team and we try to make, make each other strong to, uh, first of all, qualify the country this year. Do you feel like um, do you feel like you know the the right settings for the boat, or is it all kind of confusing? And it, like I feel like the settings are a little all over the place. Yeah, I think everyone's still experimenting, um, but we're getting more and more settled as as the year goes on. I think, um, but it's always tough, and it seems like when you're on the heavy side of body weight like we are, um, it's a bit easier to go fast, especially when it's windy, even with a slightly wrong setup, uh, which I would say we had in the first race today. Uh, but we got away with it, so it's still, like I said, to experimenting and trying things and all of this. And, and uh, uh, Ben mentioned that you had a, a bad injury over the winter and that, that you've recovered from it, and now you're, you know, in the, in the top of the fleet of worlds. Uh, not yet at the top, but <laughs> trying to get Near, there. not yeah. far. Yeah, well, we, we were um, off, off the sailing for three, four months, um, but I've sort of recovered not 100% yet, but um, slowly getting there. The doctors yeah. think sailing is good for it or bad for it? Uh, it's the best thing I can do, it's he the says. Best thing yeah. for it. See, listen to that, folks. This is medicine right here. <laughs> awesome. Well, look, it's great to meet you guys, and uh, great to see an 18-year-old doing so well out here, and obviously you want to do better, but you'll get there. Thank you very much. Well, maybe we'll get some breeze. I'm trying hard, hopefully. Yeah, great. Thank you, buddy. Thanks.